hello welcome to this channel so today in this video I would like to teach you about the lines different types of lines in engineering drawing so normally we use a pencil a 2H pencil so we use 2H pencil or you can use also H that is fine so these pencils are used we do not use HB so these pencils are used to draw different lines and there are many different types of lines in engineering drawing so first of all we should understand about two types of line one is called thick line another is called thin line so here I will draw a line here So this is a reference line. So reference line will be thin line. So this is a thin line. And usually we just uh, give reference of thin line as the thin line has approximately width of 0.3 mm, whereas a thick line has thickness of approximately 0.6 mm but of course we do not have to measure the thickness of this line or the width of this line so we can just use uh, the pressure on our pencil and we can create thin or thick line so for example if we are going to make the outline of a cylinder of this type so this cylinder when we make the, the projection, the front view of this cylinder, it's a rectangle. So I will just draw the front view here. So we can use any dimension here I will just use let's say 25 as the diameter so now I'm using little bit higher pressure and I'm creating a thick line so as you can see the difference and let's say the height of this cylinder is something like 30 mm So I am drawing the front view and the edges of the object is drawn as thick line. Which is also known as outline. So this is actually 20. So now you can see I have created the outline of a cylinder of something like this. So I have just taken some dimension. So outline of this cylinder is thick line. So all the edges of any object. So let's say if the object is this kind of set square. So this is, these are the edges. So the edges when we draw the projection we will draw as thick line so these are also edges the visible edges are all thick lines so that is one type of line which is called outline and this is drawn as thick line now if there was a hole let, let's say there was a central hole here all the way through central cylindrical hole all the way through in that case we will draw this as hidden line that means the hole is there but in the front view front view which is from here 
So in the front view, the hole is being recognized, but actually the hole is not visible from here. So to recognize the presence of hole, basically we use dotted line. So let's say we can use any dimension here. I'm not fixing the dimension and the hidden line will be thin line. So it is a dotted line. So I'm using different pressure just to create this thin line. So these are called hidden line. That means if there is there was a hole here, central hole, and we are looking from this side, then we rec recognize the presence of these holes by a line because this will be projected as a line and but we do not make a solid line but rather a dotted line so this dotted line is called hidden line and it is drawn like this so now the second line we have talked about is the hidden line the first one was the outline the second is the hidden line and the third most important or rather one of the important line is the central line. So central line is for symmetric objects uh, which has got a, a central line that means this object is uh, symmetrical along these lines. So on both sides it's the same, same kind of um, object, same type of geometry. So this center line we will draw, also it should be on the center, so I will just get a center point here. So it should be thin line and one long line, one short line, long line, short line, long line, short line, long line, short line, long line, short line. So this line is called center line. So this is also very, very important. So, so far we have discussed three types of line. One is the outline, which is the all the visible edges. Then hidden line, which is dotted line, uh, thin line, and then center line. Another important line or two lines will be dimension line and extension line. So extension line is used basically to dimension this. So for example, this is 20 millimeter. So we need to show that the dimension of this cylinder, length of the cylinder. So first we will do an extension. So extension line is a thin line and there is a break here. So it should not touch completely. So extension line is thin line and then after drawing these extension lines we will draw the dimension line. So dimension line is also thin line. So for example this is 20 so we will write 20 here. Now after dimension line we should also draw the arrowheads. So there are different types of arrowheads but the one which is most suitable is this one. So the width is one dimension and this is length is about three times of this dimension and also this angle is about 20 degree angle. So this is the way we can draw the dimension line, the extension line, and we can do the dimensioning. 
another type of line is called leader line so leader line is basically to indicate something on a surface so for example if if we are indicating this surface so a thin line at 45 degree and then a line which is parallel to the reference line so this is called leader line so here some information can be written for example related to the roughness of this surface and so on so this is called leader line and the last one that we will discuss is called cutting plane line so cutting plane line is basically to when we do a sectioning of the object so for example this is the object and we are doing a sectioning let's say we can cut this way and if we do the, this sectioning what we will see inside is a circle okay but if there is a central hole then that central hole will be visible in this one so sectioning and after sectioning this will open up and we can see the inside so if we are doing sectioning then we can first we will uh, we'll draw the cutting plane line so cutting plane line will be a thick line and and that direction in which we are going to see the cut plane will be shown by this arrow again this is also thick line So this is cutting plane line. So we can indicate cutting plane line as AA or AA prime. And this cut surface can be shown as another drawing. So for example, if we want to show this, let's say, and also inside hole will be also visible so that will also come as a circle here sometimes adjusting the height of this pencil is very very important when you are drawing the circle
so this is the inner hole that we talked about so let's say if there is a hole here so after cutting the hole will be visible so this is a section so section in near about middle point and so this is the cutting plane line and there is one more line which is called section line so section line is basically to show that this is a cut plane that means it has been cut and therefore what we are seeing is the material itself the inside of the material so section line is drawn at 45 degree to the reference line so we can use this set a square and this angle is 45 degree and we will draw some parallel lines at equal distance to each other and these will be thin line they should be at equal distance to each other and they should be parallel to each other and they are all thin lines so this is known as section line So these are section lines which are thin lines and parallel to each other and I have not drawn the section line here in this part because this is a hole so that means there is no material itself. So whatever after sectioning whatever material we can see so we have assumed that there is a hole central hole here. So after cutting whatever material we can see so since it is very symmetrical we will the material is only here and let's imagine that this is a solid. So material is only here this one is whole so therefore I have not drawn section line inside here so here in this video we have learned about the outline which is thick line and generally thickness or the width of the line is around 0.6 mm but approximately we can draw with little bit higher pressure then we learned about the hidden line which is dotted line this these are thin lines then we learned about the center line so center line is long line short line long line short line this is also thin line then we learned about extension line which is thin line and dimension line which is also thin line we learned about the leader line which is also thin line like this and finally and also we learned about this uh, the cutting plane line which is thick line here and then section line which is drawn thin line so thank you very much for your attention and i hope you like this video thank you